kindergarten. Today we're going to do a little fun activity together. And then after we do this little game, you're going to try to take off on your own to complete some little worksheets, okay? So we're going to be talking today about compound words. A compound word is made up of two small words. And these words usually kind of give the meaning of the, of the word itself. Remember, a compound word is made up of two smaller words. So on one side of my column today, I have a set of words, and then I have another set of words in the second column. Your parents are going to be getting a sheet similar to this. It's going to be a whole sheet. There's going to be two sets of blue rectangle boxes that you can cut out, and then there's going to be red rectangles on another page. What you can do is set aside those red rectangle boxes as you cut them out, and then you're going to individually cut out the blue rectangle kind of shuffle them all together so that you can play this fun game, all right? So these are going to be words that we're going to try to match with these words in the second column. Remember, they have to be real words. So if it doesn't sound like a word you've ever heard before, then you'll know that that's not a match, okay? Let's read all these words first, and then we'll try to go ahead and play our matching game. So we have the word rain, blue, weather, Butter, bird, cup, coat, man. Very good, boys and girls. We're going to try to, again, match a word in this column with a word in the second column to make one word that we've heard before. Okay? Those are called compound words. All right, so let's see. I'm going to kind of do this with you, and then you'll try to listen. If that's a word you've heard before, you can go ahead and clap. All right, so let's say, Rainbird. Is that a word we've heard before? Just one word? Rainbird. No. Raincup? No, that's not it. Raincoat? Raincoat? I've heard of that word before, a raincoat. So what I'm going to do is slide down that word that didn't match, and I'm going to match this up. Raincoat, boys and girls, is a compound word that you've actually heard before. How many of you have ever worn a raincoat to school? I bet you have. When it's raining, it's a coat that you can wear in the rain. So that's kind of a good meaning, right? A raincoat is something that you can wear in the rain to keep you from getting wet. Awesome job. Okay, let's look at the next word. We have blue. Let's see if we've heard of this word before. Blue cup. Not a fun word we haven't heard it. Blue bird or blue man? Which word have we heard just as one word before? Blue cup, blue bird, or blue man? Hmm, which one did you clap for? Could you whisper to me? Did you say blue bird? You're right, guys. Blue bird is a compound word, okay? Blue bird. It's right here. It's a bird that's blue. A bluebird. Compound word. Let's look at this word. Weather cup. Weather cup. Is that one word that we've heard before? Or weather man. Which word makes sense that you've heard before as one word? Weather cup. Weather man. Did you tell me it's weather man? You guys are so good at this game. Weather man. Very good. The weather man is a man or could be a woman that tells us the weather, the weatherman. How many of you watch the weatherman or weather girl on the news, do you? I like to watch them from time to time to see what the weather's going to be. Weatherman, awesome job. That's our compound word. Two small words that make up one word. Compound word. Okay, the last word then that would match. Let's try to see if you can read these two words with me. See if you've ever heard of this word before. Butter. Cup. Put it together as one word. Buttercup. Have you ever heard of that word? If you've never heard of it, a buttercup, boys and girls, is a compound word. It's a little yellow flower. I don't know if you've ever played this game. I know I've played it with my own children. If I go outside and get a little yellow buttercup, it's, the story is told that when you shine this little yellow buttercup underneath your chin, if your chin shows yellow underneath, you're supposed to really love butter. So, of course, mine, whenever I shine it under my chin, everybody says, oh, I can see yellow, because you know why? I love butter. I love everything about it. 
So buttercup is a compound word. Let's try to read these compound words together again, and we can break apart the smaller words that make them up. Okay, so let's read from left to right, and then we're going to read the compound word at the end. Rain coat. Rain coat. Blue bird. Blue bird. Weather man. Weather man. Butter cup. Butter cup. Great job today, guys. Continue practicing with your sheets now to try to mix up these words and try to make maybe even some new compound words uh, with your family. There's also going to be two little activity sheets that you can work on to review compound words. And remember, compound words are two smaller words that make up one big word. All right, guys. Good job. See you next time.